Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to situate you all down here. I am at the computer playing Happy Acres. I've played this game before. I like it a lot. Um, gives you something to do. And mock bomb. Mock bomb. You gotta put something in your mouth, talk. And it seems like a mock bomb is put something in your mouth, talk, and spill your guts. Something like that. See me eating. <laughs> Baked chicken, which I think I do pretty good at. And a little bit of Mrs. Dash uh, meatloaf seasoning. You can put it in your meatloaf and you can put it on your carrots. Not bad. I think it's banging on string beans. And um, grab this water. So mukbang mental health is the title of this here vlog. Um, I guess I could like to start out saying I started getting depressed at the age of 10 years old. My parents broke up and um, in front of me and... Um, not like a memory, it's like you're it's like you're there, but you're not there. They broke up in front of me, I was trying to help. My dad put his little his uh his albums in the car and you know, got in trouble because you know, you don't get in the middle of two adults going at it when they're upset and you're in a relationship and you just you didn't know you were a kid. Anyway, I can't remember the exact T V show it was, but um it was um some TV show came across and it was talking about, you know, you're upset and I'm going to eat thus and so when I'm down. Just something that I don't know if I should have been watching as a kid. You know, sometimes the wrong information goes in your head. So, I got in my mind to eat my feelings at the age of 10. Whatever it took. If I'm upset, I eat a cake, I eat something. And, um... Nowadays, the reason why I'm making today's vlog is like, you know, sometimes the blues try to come get me sometimes. And, um, in the natural, because I'm a born again Christian, in the natural, I don't know, I could complain. But to be honest, I genuinely got it going on. Why? Well, I have a roof over my head. I have health insurance. My husband's at a job that he loves. Yeah. <laughs> and um, my best friend would tell you I'm spoiled. She told me, called me, I'm spoiled. She called me spoiled one time. I couldn't understand what that was about. And um, what's that hanging? Oh, there must be something up here. What is that? Oh, that's the curtain distracting me. I'm like a fly between a five-year-old. I'm a little everything. I'm just all over the place. And um, she would tell you I'm spoiled. And maybe I am. Look at this hat. Ridiculous. At least I got to wear it. And, you know, not everything. There are bags I like to buy, conquer, whatever. I guess I'm pretty much normal. And, um... But I don't know. I just have to make sure I have something I'm doing. I'm busy. I'm, I'm contributing somehow. Come on, focus, camera. I'm going to keep talking. It gets it to focus back. I'm, I got to know I'm, I'm, I'm part of this world somehow. And, um, um, and I feel fulfilled. This big old bowl from Dollar Tree. Sometimes the small balls is not just enough. Ain't that much food left in here because, you know. And that's some carrots and some chicken. Excuse me, I'm just chewing. I feel bad. Mukbang. I can't eat. If you're watching, please eat with me. Okay? Don't eat. Don't, I, don't eat out of depression. Hopefully you're not. Just eat because it was time for you to eat. This you, I think when you have a mukbang, you see one, get your food. I got my food. Go on, eat. You listen. You comment. There we go. So, I lost my train talk just a little bit. But, um... I think, you know what, 
I don't know. A little tired today. It's been a while since I felt the moody blues down, whatever. And like I said, naturally speaking, I pretty much got it going on. So why be upset? Why be down in any shape or form? Because what woman, whatever color rainbow you are on the spectrum, would not want a man that loves you? I don't even think it was about the, the husband part so much. It was about myself. I just felt like I wasn't contributing enough and doing enough, you know, and... um you know, I did try to go out here, not try, I don't like that word. I did go and put in an application because I'm used to being a retail person and talking to other people and just, just, just trying to find my way. As everyone are, maybe younger than I am, I'm in my, I'm 47, God bless. That's another thing, I'm 47 years old. I mean, 47, I mean, in the 30s, I remember, but even I'm in the 40s and went through so much health-wise, and sadly, on one standpoint, someone would say you have every reason in the world, God forbid, not wanting to be here. But on the spiritual part, that's where we go, aha, make it anywhere, aha, coming to America. Um, what you, what is the enemy trying to keep? you and me from I mean after a while thinking playing on the game is that there are people I'm meant to minister to or talk to or have a dialogue with and if I'm doing things so upset that I can't see God forbid taking one's life being selfish I mean, you, you do that, and then what? And it has to be... It, it, why don't give up your life? Don't give up. I mean, there's a lot of reasons you might want to feel like giving up. People passing away, loved ones. I mean, it's been... It's been loved ones shockingly passing away. Like, one minute they're okay, and next minute it's not. And, you know, you might feel alone, but... Some may say, what is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is knowing Jesus Christ, your Lord. When you've made a connection with him, this is the case of me. I feel like I'm upsetting it now. Watch this, Lisa. Pay attention. <laughs> when you've made a connection with him, I mean to the point he's talking to you right here. Mine. In your ear, you know there's a connection there, and he's sending you, and he's showing you, and he's teaching you something that I said to my husband that one time. That I know the Lord speaking. He said, "You know the Lord speaking, and you don't want to go do it." And that's something. You don't want to go do it. You want to go do what you want to do. But is that uh, his will? Is that his way? Um, well, help me stand back on what you want me to talk about. Because I hear him saying, you're making a point there. Yeah, I mean, you're making a... You, you have a destiny in God. That only you and him know about. We've had uh, Indiana Jones and all these things. People climbing Mount Everest and playing around lava and you know, seeing uh, volcanoes and feeding the hungry. I know the Bible says the poor will have with us always. You'll have a poor with you always. But what is your point in life? What it was, and, and I love Bishop Jake, uh, Bishop T D Jakes. He says, whatever like kind of bothers you, that thing you feel like you need to go fix, something like that. I'm really um, paraphrasing. That's what your goal is to do. You know, hopefully your goal is not to be a criminal, <laughs> a bank robber. God forbid, a molester. That's not you. Uh, somebody that's to be like a, the black sheep of the family. That's not your calling. You have a calling. And it's in God. It's not being a gang member. It's not being a, a welfare queen. You have a destiny. But the painful part, um, Pastor Sarah Jakes was, Roberts was talking about today. I was watching Women Involved. Wild Woman, 
And she talked about that pushing part, that part when you got to go do that thing. Like, oh, I'm bored. I need something to do. Okay, get up and go apply for the job. Um, God forbid we don't get a job. Maybe starting a vlog. Maybe starting a YouTube channel. Hopefully that encourages you till you get to know where you you where you need to be, belong. Um, go and volunteer. You got to do something to keep it moving. When you go out and start talking to people, they'll begin to give you information. That you're like, oh man, I should have thought of this or that, or you know, and um, that's what I want to say, you know. Why are you upset? You check you, if, if you if you not if you're ashamed to go to the psychiatrist, you can sit there and talk to your own self. I know the Bible talks about a man examining himself. Why are you upset? What brought you to this upset? Why are you sitting there trying to down that gallon of ice cream, although it is delicious? But why? Why? The mosquito just bit me. Why? Why you? Why now? Why is it so important to wipe you off the face of the earth? Why is your life so little? After your mother and your father, you know, brought you into this world nine months. They brought you into this world. You hear about cesarean. You hear about natural. And some people, cesarean was on the side of something. Some people wore a bikini cut. I mean, because things evolved. And why do you have to take time out and, and kill yourself, hurt yourself, do stuff to yourself? Why? Ask that spirit why. Ask that voice why. I remember there was a time. Ooh, I need to get back to it. There was a time that I was stressing so hard, and every time I thought about it, I went walking. Just exhausted myself. Because that's better than taking a pill. Some people need to take a pill. Some people do not. That's better than drinking. Thank God I don't, don't want none. Taking a legal substance. You know? We want to feel better. The only way we can really feel better is once we get in the presence of God. Because in the presence of the Lord, is fullness of joy. Once we understand, this is where I I need, this is where I belong. Because I have a connection with Him. I've opened up. I've accepted Him as my Lord and Savior. I'm filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And um, running for my life. And He's showing me where I need to be. I'm scratching myself with my fingernails. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, you have a fighting chance. But once you know the Lord, then you got a chance to to know his peace. To know, to know when things are quiet. And it's okay if things are quiet. It's okay to hear the train going past. Like, hey, there's something still going on when she's talking. But to hear the, the crickets and to hear the to hear, feel the grass on your feet and the trees. The Lord, help us to reach out and grab Something that's helping us know we're contributing. Hey, I say, Yisa, in this world, help us to do that. You know, I'm doing my little my little thing. I, I have a few vlogs going up today, and maybe small ones, and maybe long ones, uh, vlogs. And um, I'm you know want to learn more about makeup. And as I learn about makeup, I may be able to learn. My 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 deal is to learn about makeup. And I could, you know, show my daughter or friends how to apply it correctly. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going to be a big old makeup artist. That's not my spiel. I mean, you never know. Life is funny. You might find it. See how long it takes to go through the classes, you know. Because doing something like that, it's like um, like being a doctor. You know, you have to learn a lot. I don't know if that's my thing. But, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Ruth. I don't know what my, what is my thing? I like the YouTube. I mean, and that's big because I was a not the YouTube person. Mm, not the YouTube person. But, you know, got the courage and went ahead and do it. And um, another thing, I made a comment on um, Kevin, Kevin on stage. He put something up and I commented on it and somebody I don't know what, either male or female said I will help, help us Lord, something like that and someone put I hate black people too 
and God is white and and have a nice day. How crazy. Because I'm not Oh, uh, uh, I'm, I am, I am mat mature. I mean, thank God. He immediately let me know that that person needs help. All these colors of rainbow up in here. Caucasian, black. First of all, for me, I don't need you to tell me I'm so-called black. I'm not even black. What we got? This is black. I will move that. The computer is black. There's a wire in here. That's black. I'm not black. I may be like a brown. I was going to say chai because on, uh, what's her name? On Jackie Ina. Chai is the color of the foundation on her face. So anybody going to wear? We're all here. If you were trying to what what wipe out a certain color, ethnicity, whatever, they're still here. So being racist is stupid and a waste of time. Cause God made all of us. And can't we get along? Why why can't we get along? Why not? Why we gotta use words and in words to hurt another person? Why do we have to do that? Why? Because if you're in trouble and you need a kidney, some blood, you're in a car, you don't want it to explode, and I'm walking past. And, and furthermore, the Bible says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. How about that? Thank you, God. I love the whole Sata. I thank you, love, for your word. You got to come, we got to come back. These evil spirits that are coming up against us. You don't understand what I'm saying? Read Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brother, beloved brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Matter of fact, there's the Bible right here. Let me grab it. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, can't use the phone right now. You know that's about it. Look at that. It borrow it real quick so I can get up on it. A, the phone is cool, but hopefully I'll this alpha this is long enough for YouTube. This is pretty long. I've never had one. Uh, I never had one this long. Oh, reason six and ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. What is she doing? Okay. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places, where unto you take, where unto you, uh, the whole arm of God, that ye may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand with your loins girded about uh, with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. And a helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Then it goes into one of my favorites. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching here unto all perseverance um, and supplication for all saints. And for me that that and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. And this is, and he goes into, for I am an ambassador in bonds uh, therein. I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but ye also have me know me, and, uh, know my affairs and how I do. So he was uh, traveling back and forth here, but I go down to 23, peace, 
Peace be to the brethren in love and faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace uh, be with you. No, grace and, peace, grace and peace. Grace be with all of them. But I'm getting heavy. Um, that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. That's Ephesians 6 and 10. Oh, I wanted to know which one here. Maybe I'll make sure I put it in the description box. Come on, baby. I want to know which one. This is the, there we go. This is the Holy Bible Authorized King James Version. James Version. Oh, I guess I thought it was going to say something else. Mm, must be that monk bong pop. <laughs> Excuse me. And yeah, so that's why we're here. That's why, God forbid, the enemy of your soul wants you off the face of the earth. Because if you get with God, he'll show you something powerful that will destroy his kingdom. And the and the songwriter said, what is that? I can hear Karen Clark share the kingdom. Suffereth violence and the violence take it by force. So, yeah, I may have some days that, boy, I tell you, help me, God. But, Lord, help me to do as the late Whitney Houston sang, I look to you. Hmm? Mental health is a choice, serving God is a choice. Loving yourself while you're in God is a bona fide choice. Staying in this world, wait. Wait. Don't don't walk away. You know? No, that's another song on my head. That's Keith Stair Keith Staten. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. I don't leave this world. Thinking you'll feel better because you did something to yourself. And that we can't wake you up no more. Find out why you really find out why you are really here. And I pray God send you send someone your way. And one of his angels, not some weird person with a crystal ball with some tea leaves and got some throwing Cheerios over your back. No. Yeah. I want somebody that's born again, saved, talking to you while you're here. And Lord, as I close this out, I'd love to talk forever. I pray those that come across this mukbang mental health that they choose you. That they be able to resist the devil. And he will flee. Make that choice to love God while I'm here in this world. Lord, help me to understand. I would call it the movie of my life. What's up with this movie? Me dying and seeing? That can't be it. People have passed in the way that you've known maybe for years. You don't understand. But Lord, help me to understand what my part, what is my part? Why am I still here? Hey, I say, so what am I supposed to be doing? And when I hear what I'm supposed to be doing, Give me some time to do it because you know how our flesh can be. Your, your Bible says that your thoughts are deep. They are deep. Still start, I'm starting to get the understanding now. I'm glad. Thank God. Because there was a moment I didn't want to be here. And thank God after a blood clot stopped my heart and they took me to the hospital. And I woke up three days later. After all, wishing the devil, thank God I'm, I'm here to talk about it. I felt so bad after I found what happened to me. So bad. Right there in front of my husband. Right there in my children's school. I'm dying. of a blood clot on my lung. But I'm still here. So Moody Blues, the blood of Jesus being against you. No weapon formed against me. Mugbang on that. <laughs>